Developing tonight, the Department of Justice is already pursuing a civil rights investigation into the death of Alton Sterling. Earlier today, civil rights leader Jesse Jackson called this police shooting a public lynching. The Reverend Jesse Jackson is the founder and president of the Rainbow Push Coalition and my guest now. Reverend, good to see you tonight. Uh, this is disturbing. There's no question about it and hard to watch. But to those who it say... Is, it, is, it, it, it is hard to watch. But to uh, those who say that it's, uh, you go too far by, by referring to it in those judgmental ter terms before we know all the facts, what say you? What the, fa the fact we do know is a man was on the ground uh, held down by another police shot in the back and in the chest uh, at least four times. We know he was no threat to police who were involved in that. Uh, we don't at know one that. Point it was, that second part there, oh, we don't yet know. Oh, we, 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 we see the camera is the eye, and, and, and the eye tells us that this man is down with no, with no lethal harm to these police if any threat to them at all. Uh, and now the whole world is watching. Uh, they didn't have to kill this man. And, and it's a pattern. It's so reminiscent of, of, of Ghana in New York, where the police felt they had to choke him to death, that they had to shoot him four times with no threat to them. It's, 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 it's but can horrific. You, can you tar these officers with, with prior cases that they had nothing to do with, you know, to ascribe motives to them? I mean, their defenders well, will it? say they were scared that somebody <sighs> said he had a gun, that he, they were there because somebody had reported feeling threatened by him and that he had a gun. Well, somebody said is, is, is a poor excuse to shoot a man in the back and in the chest four times. That's a poor excuse. That, that's, not, that's not good policing. Well, that's just what set things uh, off. I, I, I said the force was, was excessive, it was unnecessary, and, and it was deadly. But on the, re the reason justification for police shooting someone is that they are threatening themselves. Not his say, not they say. They killed this man. And, and I, when I grew up, it was, it was white sheets and covered faces. Now it's auda audaciously blue uniform. It, it is a pattern, and, it, and, it, and I think, first, the governor should be commended for move, moving immediately uh, to bring in the FBI and justice, because they at least have more credibility in the situation. The second piece of this is that uh, if he had shot uh, them down on the ground, he would be arraigned tonight, not on administrative well, leave why, getting paid. Why come out earlier tonight, you, call, you came out and you called them racist? Now, that's... That is a bridge too far, is it not? We have no idea what was in those cops' no. hearts. Well, no, we, 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 we know the culture. Uh, and we know that these two white cops uh, arrived at some conclusions. Come on, uh, come on. And, That's, and, not and did not, and did not just, but, That's not fair to these guys. That's not fair. These guys murdered Isn't it a racist man who was to ascribe who was that sort of a, of a racist motivation to these guys without knowing? No, no. The, the, the fears were unfounded, and in part, the, the stereotypes of an African American male. On hearsay, they shot him four times on the ground. And, and Megan, in this case, it's not hearsay, it's the whole world is watching. Yeah. So while we, while we debate this, we trivialize it. leave it at the that, whole sir. Apologies. world is watching. They're this watching, is a we'll murder, continue and watching. They, they and, must and you be and I will continue this discussion another time. It's very good of you Indeed. to be here tonight, sir. All the best. Yes, ma'am.